Okay, fellow babies, welcome back to Packer Factor on Sifted.net. Thank you so much for your patronage if you're if you're supporting us on Patreon. Thank you so much if you have connected your Twitch account to your Amazon Prime account. Uh, remember to relink those, re-up that link every month or so. We get paid every month that you remember to do that. And if you're a uh, YouTube subscriber, we appreciate it. All those are getting us paid so Shane can afford to keep producing these. I'm not getting paid, but I appreciate that you're allowing Shane to give me a forum. Today's question from YouTube from Joe Zawanul. What's the deal with Xbox sharing revenue with GameStop? Isn't this a conflict of interest? Won't this motivate store clerks to push Xbox Series X instead of PlayStation 5? And will it help GameStop stay afloat? What can Sony do to counter? Um, so the deal is that Microsoft is slowly morphing to a services model. And if you think about Microsoft Corporation and how they make money, um, their biggest product is, is Office is Windows Office and you know so the whole software suite for PC. And their next biggest business is Azure, which is their cloud business. And as you think about those businesses, I mean, essentially they're subscriptions. Um, you can buy Windows preloaded on your PC and buy Office. And I think it's, you know, like what are 300, 400 bucks, or you can sign up for Office 365 and pay 99 bucks a year. And just everything happens and gets updated and works forever. I have that. And again, I don't even know why I have it, but I have it. I mean, it's I pay for it. And it's mostly because I don't really want to go through the hassle of having to reload all the new Windows products, software products when they when they come up. So Microsoft's making a little bit more money from me. You know, instead of getting $400 every five years, they're getting $500 every five years. But I have the convenience that everything just, every time I turn my PC on and off, everything gets updated. And, and it never ever needs to have a new install and that's great um and that th i also have the peace of mind that when i get rid of my pc and swap for another one i don't have to buy new software it just it just happens so that's their plan for consoles and so what they're trying to do is not not necessarily get away from the sale of a console and sale of games but they're trying to migrate toward, so slowly migrate toward a subscription service where nobody ever pays them 500 bucks and 60 bucks and instead pays them $35 a month and is a, you know, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscriber and gets uh, Game Pass and Xbox Live and a new console. And that price is 35 bucks a month, I believe it's 35, for two years. And then you own your Xbox series x um there's lower price for xbox series s i believe it's five bucks cheaper or something and um at the end of two years i'm not sure what happens i think you drop down to 15 bucks a month but then you are subscribing to game pass and you're getting all their software so you get all new microsoft software you get all catalog microsoft software you get some old games from ubisoft and other other publishers and you get now ea uh origin access not the expensive one, but the cheaper one. I forgot what that's called. But you get the EA catalog, so the five dollar a month EA plan, which is all the all their titles that were published a year ago or prior. So you don't get the new FIFA or the new Madden, but you get last year's FIFA, last year's Madden, and you get Mass Effect, and you get Dragon Age, and you get whatever EA's gotten its get, you know, whatever EA published in the last twenty years of being there. So that's a pretty good deal. Now, it doesn't get you Call of Duty. It doesn't get you Assassin's Creed. And if you want those, you're going to go buy those. But I think Microsoft would rather be like they are with Windows and collect, you know, 35 bucks a month. So how do they get you to buy that if you customarily go to GameStop and buy a console? And the way they get you to buy that is they have GameStop try to sell you that plan. So they're cutting GameStop in on any subscription services GameStop is able to sign you up for. And when you say conflict of interest, um, you know, I don't know how most of you get your Netflix, but if you ordered Netflix through your Roku device, then Roku gets a piece of the Netflix subscription. I think it's only a year, but they get you know a piece of the year, first year. Um, if you ordered it through your Comcast cable TV box, Comcast gets a piece of the subscription. That's how they do it. They sell you Showtime, HBO, Netflix, Hulu, 
they get a piece from those. And, and the reason that Roku doesn't have HBO Max on its boxes is because HBO told them, screw you, we're not gonna let you get a piece of our, our revenue. And Roku said, fine, if you don't give us a piece, you can't be on a Roku box. So yes, it's exactly the same model. So is it unfair to Sony that Microsoft pays GameStop to promote their product? No, Sony has the same opportunity. And if Sony chooses to pay to promote their product, great. That's like saying, is it unfair to, to uh, old Milwaukee light beer that Bud, Budweiser advertises more heavily? No, they pay to get people aware of their brand. And if old Milwaukee wants to outsell Budweiser, they'll advertise just as much as Budweiser. You know, is it unfair to Tesla that Toyota has more ads? No, Toyota sells 20 times as many cars. So they can afford to advertise more and they sell a lot more cars because of it. This is really just a form of advertising. And by the way, you probably don't know this, but if you go into a GameStop, and I'm this is kind of a pre-COVID thing, but if you went into a GameStop back in the day and you saw Call of Duty on a display rack, you know, near the door, and there were a hundred copies, that display rack was paid for by Activision. And that product placement was sponsored by Activision. So Activision would cut GameStop in on, you know, something like a dollar per copy, as much as 250 per copy of the game sold, just to put it near the door and support and, and uh, display it. Same thing, if you see a banner in, in the window that says Call of Duty or FIFA out now, that is paid for. The, not just the poster, but they actually pay for the space as advertising and they call that vendor allowance dollars. So Microsoft is hoping that they're gonna make more money on 35 bucks a month and getting you con con I'm sorry, committed and into the Microsoft ecosystem. And they're willing to pay GameStop because they know subscribers tend to remain. And so if they can collect 15 bucks a month for you in perpetuity, that's 180 a year. That's like selling you three games. They would be, and they get to keep all of it. You know, they get, they're paying for the content if they have EA's content in there. But they would love to keep you in the Microsoft ecosystem in perpetuity. So it's worth a lot to them. Um, as far as the impact on uh, on um, GameStop staying afloat, some money is better than no money. Um, uh, you know, I, I spoke to GameStop about this and they said they're getting a small piece. So, so my guess is again, they're probably getting in the range of, you know, the, the console royalty for GameStop, I'm sorry, the console retail margin for GameStop, it's about 25 bucks. So this is a two year plan, so probably a dollar a month of the 35, just for the console. And then the piece, the $15 piece is Xbox Live and uh, Game Pass, probably 15%. So probably another two bucks, two and a quarter. So I would guess GameStop's getting about $3 a month for every consumer that they sign up. That's great. But remember what GameStop's giving up, right? If they sold you a console day one, they get 25 bucks. So they're gonna get you know 36 a year for two years. They're gonna get 72, but they would have gotten 25 immediately. And if you buy a piece of software, a $60 game, let's not go with 70 yet, the retail margin is $12. So if you bought a console and one game, they were gonna get $37 anyway, and now they're only getting 36. So it's not really great for GameStop in the first year. The second year, they get another 36, and theoretically, they would have gotten at least one game sale. They would have gotten 12. So it's nice. It's not gonna you know, change the, the outcome for GameStop. I mean, they're either gonna make it or they're not gonna make it. This isn't gonna make them or break them. But you know, I think people don't realize GameStop makes pretty good money on retail sales. And so Microsoft has to keep them whole. That's why this could go on forever. I mean, I could see the 15% of the $15 going as long as the customer is a customer. I think that actually makes sense to me. You come in by Halo, they would say, you know, for an extra, you know, for $15 a month, you can get Halo and all these old games and you can get the upcoming gears and the upcoming whatever. And, you know, I think that gives them an incentive to keep trying to bring people in the ecosystem. And ultimately GameStop goes away because if everybody's a subscriber, this is their only source of revenue. So Microsoft's not stupid. They know everybody's not gonna subscribe. If you buy one game a year, you're not paying 180 for the privilege. Um, but Microsoft's doing a lot to force you into this because Xbox Live alone is 10 bucks and it's like, why not?
for an extra five, I get Game Pass. So Microsoft's trying to force everybody into that. And I, th and they, I think they said they have 30 million um, Game Pass subscribers already. So it's, a, or maybe it's 20 million, but it's heading to 30, it's 20 million, but it's big, you know, considering that they just started it. So they are looking at this as being a hundred million people, you know, paying them 15 bucks a month, which is real money. I mean, that's, you know, one and a half billion a month that becomes a real business and they can afford to pay for a lot of content. Uh, thank you for joining us on Factor Factor on sifted.net. And if you're a Patreon patron, we really appreciate it. Our, our Twitch Prime customers who have linked their Twitch Prime account to their Amazon Prime account, thank you, we're getting paid. Our YouTube subscribers, thank you, we're getting paid. Everybody else, thanks for indulging us. Have a wonderful holiday and New Year's and uh, please follow me on Twitter at Michael Factor.